What's good, y'all? It is Monday, October 3rd. It is 8.30 a.m. I am currently sitting outside of Petco. I had to bring Prince to get his nails trimmed. I actually just wanted him to get his nails trimmed because in my opinion, can't nobody wash me better than my dog. I mean, can't nobody wash my dog better than me. What the hell? Anyway, um, so I am sitting outside. He just went inside. Um, he's getting that done. I have a lot. In my mind, it seems like a lot, but it's probably not a lot. I'm just probably overreacting. But I have some stuff I got to get done today. I'm off today. And on my off days, I rarely ever rest. I just, I pretty much just get done what I can't get done during the weekday when I am working because I'm too tired. Um, so yeah, um, I am, I have to get his nails trimmed. And then I have, there's some new information at my job that just came out that I have to like kind of study so that I can be prepared to like answer questions tomorrow with my managers. Um, what else? I need laundry I need to do laundry I need to go grocery shopping um yeah I made a list last night but yeah that's the ones that's, I, that I can think of off the top of my head sorry I'm looking away y'all like my mind is wandering right now um but good morning I hope that y'all are having a great morning it feels kind of weird to be off on a Monday I'm usually not off on a Monday but I hmm, guess we'll see um how this feels but i guess this gives me an opportunity to start my actual like work week how i want to because i'm off on monday so yeah yes i have my bonnet on y'all i hopped straight up out of bed his appointment was at 8 15 we literally got here at like 8 21 and the girl i didn't get a good vibe from her so we probably won't be coming back here like she she looked like she was ill or something like she didn't want to get up out of bed either um, I actually wanted to stay in there with her while she was with my dog, but he did not come back with not a scratch or a bruise. Um, he's been waiting a long, long time. I have been a bad mama. He has been waiting a minute to get his nails trimmed, y'all. Um, again, I've just been so, so, so busy. Um, but so I was like, I'm gonna let her do it. Um, but we probably won't be coming back to this one either. I don't know why, but these pet codes over here in LA, I have not found a good one over here. Um... There was one that I had over in Long Beach, I believe. That one was cool. But this, these over here in LA, these people over here, they act like they don't love their job, and I don't like that for my dog. So, um, it, hopefully, praying I, that I will find him a good vet that I get good vibes from, and he can start getting his nails trimmed there when he get his checkups, or I can find a good pet co because I don't need him to necessarily go to the vet you know every time he needs his nails trimmed because veterinarians they charge like a lot for you to get your dog's nails trimmed because like those extra little services they charge a lot for that like a lot of extra money for that that i just ain't got to be throwing around right now um so yeah but he's inside i'm waiting on him to get out she said something about an hour and she was like 90 something minutes i'm like what the hell you about to do to my child Nine what she said like 90 to 94 minutes or something she said she was gonna call me so um yeah well i'm just gonna sit here and talk to y'all uh yesterday was a good day at work i met a guy he was very very cool his family was cool they were from south carolina y'all when i tell y'all at my job i like turn this you know this color like voice on and I like stay that way while I'm at work. I just do, unless I'm like by myself on the phone or something. But when they that family showed up and I knew that they found out they were from South Carolina, like they just brought out my Southern accent heavy, heavy y'all. Like I had never spoken like that in public before in my life. And it's not that I do that on purpose. It just automatically happens. Like when I'm in a professional setting or when I'm just at work, I consider that a professional setting. My like subconsciously I talk different just to you know make sure people can clearly understand me and yeah so um yeah it was very very like cool being with them um i did get his number because he lives here their son lives here um but yeah i'm so excited for that friendship because i honestly think that me and him gonna vibe out uh and yeah so excited about that what else today i'm actually trying to do the little cookie crumble review 
um i know that that little the trend has already passed but i need you know i needed some ideas to do for this video this vlog today and so i think i'm going to do that so i'm gonna find a cookie crumble or a crumble place i don't know what it's i don't even know what it's called um i'm gonna find one of those and do a review for this week's uh cookies for y'all um I know it's October and a lot of YouTubers normally do Vlogtober, but I kind of started late and I'm real OCD. And so in my eyes, if I didn't start on October 1st, I'm not doing it. Um, so, but I am going to try to vlog a lot more. This is actually my very first vlog I've ever done. I'm very, very excited uh, just to take y'all, you know, through my day, a day in the queendom. You know what I'm saying? So y'all get to, you know, ride with me today, vibe with me today. Um, if you are new to my channel, let me go ahead and do my little spiel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Um, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. Check them out. See if you like my vibe, if you feel my vibe. Again, I am still a new YouTuber. I'm still new to this. So the camera quality may not be A1. The edits and, you know, all of the, you know, background stuff may not be A1 right now. But give me some time because I promise you we're going up, no doubt. But um yeah so i'm gonna hang out with y'all y'all gonna hang out with me today and we're just gonna see what transpires throughout the day um y'all i need to do something to my head i walked out of here with this bonnet on because i would not go in that store like that i remember uh and y'all notice i have i have gum in my mouth so it was funny because i didn't even know i had i put that in my mouth before i woke up like got out of the house this morning i remember sometimes when my mama or my aunts would drop me off at school if they needed to like go in and check me in and they got like fresh out of the bed um they would just pop a piece of gum in their mouth <laughs> so that they wouldn't like so their breath wouldn't stink. they wanted to make sure they was prepared just in case they had to talk to you know a you know principal or a teacher or they saw another child parent there in the principal's office um they they wanted to make sure they was ready okay they couldn't exactly like prep and prep like they needed to but um they would pop a piece of gum in their mouth for a minute real quick um so yeah my aunts and my mama stay ready for sure but um i pray that y'all having a good day um i think that that's all for right now that i got to share with y'all um i woke up this morning and we were kind of running late last night when i looked this address up it said that we were gonna get here in 18 minutes i don't know why i did that because literally we got here and it took 30 minutes to get here so um big mistake i almost got hit this morning on the way here this dude was flying down the road like from my house and the way that my apartment set up the garage is like underground so you have to come up out of the parking garage sit up on the street and then look both ways so by the time i had came up and sat up this dude and tried to like pull out a little bit this dude was like Zoo! i was like literally me and prince was about to be in somebody freaking living room i'm not even lying like he could have hit her hit us just that hard but um yeah so i do need to do something to my head y'all i don't know what it is but like y'all ever i feel like every woman and every man it don't have to be like a particular person but i feel like every person has their thing that makes them feel good for me that's my hair when my hair is done i feel good i don't care what's going on in life i feel great okay and for me that's my hair for some women it's their nails um for other women it's you know buying a new outfit a new purse um i don't even know i ain't feminine like that so that stuff don't that stuff don't like move me but uh yeah for me it's my hair um my hair is probably the most feminine like outer like part of me contrary to like you know my body parts I ain't talking about i'm talking not talking about my anatomy um but look like my hair i don't play about my hair at all i really really don't um i hit this girl up uh called miko uh i really want miko to do my hair y'all i have been watching her i have been um scouting her out for like a long 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 time ever since i moved here actually and um because, you know, every time, you know, a black woman moves to a new state, she got to find somebody to do her hair. And as far as, like, braiding go and, like, hairstyles, I really want to go to, um, to, uh, hype me up and turn me up. So, 
um i hit her up and praying that i will be able to get my hair done at the end of this month i think she said she has some availability at the end of this month and then i'm planning to go home for the holidays so she is definitely touching my head again before i leave here um to go home but i think i might get a different hairstyle that go around i think i might get some uh i ain't gonna tell y'all i ain't gonna tell y'all but um yeah so she's like a celebrity braider over here i'm pretty sure her work is not cheap but at this point i my i deserve top tier performance so um i'll pay it i will because yeah it's, it's, it's time i have not had anybody else do my hair since i know it's been two years i know it's been two years this had to be two years but yeah so um yeah i feel like i'm just like talking random stuff right now i have never like come on this camera in my bonnet oh my god but anyway y'all y'all see y'all see me okay i told y'all i was giving y'all the real raw uncut me this is how I go to bed. I go to bed in my bonnet. Um, sometimes I go to bed in a durag. It just, it depends on what I'm feeling that day. But I know that my bonnet gonna keep my hair safe and secure because my dog like to hop in my bed. And yeah, it's just a lot. But um, yeah, y'all, that is all that I have for y'all right now. When I come back on the camera, I'm probably gonna be back home um and probably getting my day started honestly y'all i really want to take a nap i really want to go back to sleep because like i said i woke up at 7 40 this morning i don't even wake up that early when i to go to work so i'm a little i'm a little schmiz oh that's miko right there Mm, I'm gonna have to ask for that day off. So she just sent me the day and the time, the date and the time that she's available to do my hair. But I'm gonna need her to drop that price. Oh, she just dropped the price. Okay, that ain't hmm, that ain't bad. That ain't as bad as I thought she was about to do. Um, interesting. Cause if y'all when y'all see this hairstyle, y'all gonna be like, yeah, that was that was worth it. I honestly think it was worth it. I mean, these females be out here blowing three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, two fifty on a wig and some glue and yeah um so i feel like yeah but all right y'all i'm gonna catch y'all in a little bit um whenever prince gets out of his appointment later all right y'all i'm gonna catch y'all in a little bit when prince gets out of the store later oh you all clean and stuff oh stanker hey Oh, you all cleaning? You acting brand new? Dang, do you gotta go to the restroom? Hey, boo! Hey, where you going? Oh, he about to drag me and him out in the street. Go on, Pina. Cause we about to head back to the house. You ready? Oh, you smell good. Is that you that smell like that? Come on. Is that you? What's good, y'all? I am back um just got back from the petco which was only again five miles up the street but it felt like it was yeah like an hour so we are back hold on let me put y'all on the, the light um we are back i am about to probably work out because big red is here and she is not playing with me today um she came yesterday if you a female, you know who Big Red is. Um, and right now, I'm starting to transition from cramps to like moody. So I think it's best if I work out here instead of going to the gym. I still have to go to the gym anyway because I have a client that I have to work out with today. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be working out here. I'm about to make sure Prince is good. Y'all, Prince smells so freaking good. Like, I love this for him. He smelled like he came from a barbershop. I used to love when my daddy and my uncles and my brother would like go to the barbershop because when they came back, I don't know, they smell like coffee, like some type of sweet stuff that they spray on them. I don't know what it is, but I love it. And I love that for him. So, um, yeah. So I'm about to get dressed 
to go and work out. I'm going to bring y'all along with me so y'all can see what some of my workouts look like. Um, if you need a personal trainer, I am available. Um, if you want to, if you're serious about it, you can hit me up um, at one of these two contacts right here. I'm going to drop it below. And yeah, we can get we can get a pop and I can help you reach your fitness goals. Um, whether that's you wanting to lose weight, gain muscle, just eat better, have a healthier lifestyle, drink more water. Um, I can help you out with that. So, just dropping my little, my little business in that. But so I'll see y'all in a few. Bye. Hey y'all real quick just want to let y'all know that when like big red is in your life for all my females out there when big red come into town and you want to still work out and do like cardio and do jump roping and stuff like this it really helps that whenever you're doing like the workouts to kind of jump like alternate feet instead of jumping up and down straight up and down on both feet thank me later what's good y'all so i just got done with cardio now we're about to jump into the arms um, usually when I'm in here by myself, I don't have this shirt on, I don't have these shorts on. But because y'all watching me, I'm gonna behave. Um, and Big Red is in the building, so I'm definitely like more self-conscious when she here, cause you know I have to wear my little diaper and what whatnot. Um, so, but we about to jump into the arms. I got just got done with cardio. I left my shoes at the gym, so um, I had to wear my Vans. I couldn't like do like actual running, running, cause I I didn't have my running shoes. Um, and I get chance when it's really bad when I run without the proper shoes on. So um, y'all can see I did a couple stairs. I got my uh, jump ropes in. I love jumping rope. I feel like that's the funnest way to do cardio for me. That and the bike um, and basketball. Um, those are my top three ways to like a fat or fat burning, like quick fat burn uh, workout. Um, but yeah, so we're about to get into the arms. Let's get it.
back. I just got done with arms. Yo. Yo. Y'all can see my shoulder with these shoulders too. But yeah. So I just got done with arms, y'all, for some reason. My big red is showing out right now. I am hurting, okay? I did take some meds, but I need to do these abs. <laughs> Wait, no, cardio. Cause I missed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Literally didn't work out for three days, y'all. I was just, I don't know if something was going on mentally. Um, but I was like, I gotta make this up. Like I have to. So Friday I was supposed to do cardio. Saturday I was supposed to do arms. And then yesterday I was supposed to do legs. So I ain't got to do abs today, I do abs tomorrow. So actually I just got done with cardio and arms. So now I'm about to do legs. And we done, y'all, because Big Red is just, she is, ooh, she's showing out, y'all. Look how bloated I am. Ooh. You know, I always wonder if this type of cramping is like a little bit of, like a, it's like God giving us a taste of like what being pregnant gonna feel like. Like whenever like our water break. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. What's up, y'all? I am back. Hold on. What's good? I am showered and I am getting ready to head out. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if I wanna go grocery shopping first or if I wanna get these cookies first. I'm not really sure. Um, I know the grocery store is closer what well, a grocery store I go to is closer than the one that the cookie crumble place, the crumble cookie place. But um, we'll see which one I am gonna go to first. Wow, my job has got me dark as hell, y'all. Like I am, I'm still chocolatey, but I'm like dark chocolate now. Like before, I was like a dark chocolate milk chocolate, but now I'm like full on dark chocolate. But it's alright. Little Prince and his little friend. I had to bring him out, let him get a walk in before I head out. He followed me to the door, so I took that as a sign. Nah, nigga, you gonna take me out before you leave here. I can't, I'm not taking Prince with me strictly because, you know, I'm still getting used to being able to take him out in public. And I don't know, y'all, I just get a lot of anxiety because Prince growls and he's like a full on chihuahua in public sometimes. So, and I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for people to be looking at us funny. And I'll get used to it eventually. But um, today, specifically, he's not going with me. Um, especially when I go grocery shopping. Heck no, he's definitely not going with me. Um, but I'll go ahead and bring him back inside. We just got done with our walk. I got on something slight today because y'all know Big Red here. So, I got on Red. Big Red here, so I got on... A Jordan shirt got on these loose pants cuz I don't need nothing too tight in this area and then I just got on some old some old kicks nothing nothing major cuz I ain't about to be out for long on my days off y'all I'm in the house like okay this is like a good spot I'm in the house like I'm not even out here like this like I'm not in the streets <sighs> a lot even on my days off I'd rather be in the house watching TV or just planning like so I will talk to y'all again when I get back when I get in the car actually see y'all know what I just realized I'm sitting up here trying to freaking make sure that I'm recording and I realized I don't have a GPS on the dash so I can't record and like drive at the same time so I had to like have my GPS on because I didn't know what this place was. I'm actually looking for it. Um, but I am here. I'm here. I'm about to go inside and get these cookies. And honestly, I thought about it when I got in the car. I was like, man, it makes so much more sense. Even though I wanted to do this cookie review at the house, it makes so much more sense for me to just do it right here in the car. Um, and I told my roommates that they can have the other little corner of this cookie because I'm only eating enough to give y'all a review and then I am, that is okay, I'm gonna have to go back out a different way. And then I am going to um, 
give them the rest of it so i'm just eating just enough i haven't thought it all the way through yet because i don't know how i'm going to like break it i'm probably gonna just break it with a napkin or something so that i don't touch it with my hands because i'm sure that they're gonna want to try it i wish i could have done it honestly with them that probably would have been dope um but one of them is uh probably i think she's at work and then my the other roommate is at the house so he gonna miss it um because i don't want to wait until i get home i feel like the cookies may come out you never know i don't know how this place works i don't know if the cookies come out hot or what y'all i feel like i am doing this little place all types of wrong right now but um i'm about to go in here y'all and get these cookies and then i'm gonna come back out and do the review with y'all all right i'm gonna try to park somewhere where it's good lighting because right now this lighting right here ain't hit at all i look very very dark all right y'all i'll check in with y'all in a few see ya. y'all i'm not even gonna tell y'all how much some cookies cost i'm not even gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna leave that to myself i'm gonna keep that to myself because what these cookies better be on point you hear me but i'm about to go find a good place to park with some okay lighting i think it was just well this ain't bad but i don't really want to park here because i don't know i feel like somebody else needs this spot <laughs> So y'all, I'm about to go find a park. Um, I got the cookies that were like on the little table thing. Um, I didn't want to record it because again, I'm still getting used to like recording stuff, but yeah. Um, but we about to go over here and find a spot. And we about to film these, uh, film these cookies, y'all. So let's do it. I think I'm gonna grab, snag this one right here. No, I can't really snag that one. I gotta do this one. And that car probably looking at me like, what is she doing? All right, y'all. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Got them. I got them. I got them. I got them. They warm, too. Like, this box feel warm. It really, really do. All right, y'all. So, this is what the box looks like. So, it's like bringing together friends and family mm. Mm. marketing all right hey right, i was hoping i didn't stir it around too much oh is that caramel mm. okay. all right all right all right yes i have washed my hands all right y'all i'm gonna put on some sanitizer just i washed them before i came out of back out of the store all right y'all all right, so I actually don't even know the name of all these cookies. I'm, oh my God. Mm, I gotta look these cookies up, hold on y'all. All right, I'm fake back. All right, y'all, so, all right, y'all, I'm back. So I had to go online and get the name of the cookies. Don't judge me, I'm new to this, whatever. All right, so I have the name of each of the cookies. Um, So let me try to, let me try to do this for y'all. All right, y'all. So this one here is called uh, the pumpkin roll. This one is called the milk chocolate chip. This is Aggie Blue Mint, I think. This is pink sugar. Uh, this is the original cookie with M&Ms and peanut butter. It smells good. This is the one that's making my mouth water right here. This one. This one looks like it's going to be busting. I am so excited to try this. Now, mind y'all, I'm only eating a piece of it because all this no we just we just worked out no we're not doing that all right so put y'all back where y'all belong all right y'all so let's try these cookies all right the first one what's the first one i want to try Ooh, i don't know i think i'm gonna try the milk chocolate chip y'all want to try that one first we'll try that one first all right so the, we'll try the milk chocolate chip all right so i think so my roommates will be able to get one i am going to actually because i believe the cookies are soft enough i am going to eat these with a fork so that i don't touch them and my roommates can have them afterwards okay all right all right y'all dang you can sell this cookie i mean this uh fork is cheap because girl 
whole fork about to break as I'm trying to open it. My God. All right. Come on, bro. All right, y'all. All right, so first up is the milk chocolate chip. Okay, let's try this one first. I'm actually going to try to break it with the opposite side. Oh, this could be soft, y'all. I'm going to try to get a piece with the actual chocolate chip on it. All right. Mm. God, we that look good. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Milk chocolate chip. And they soft too. Oh my god. My lord. Okay. I see you. Milk chocolate. I give the milk chocolate uh I feel like that's a very standard cookie. Um it wasn't nothing like extravagant about it. So I'll give milk chocolate chip. I'll give that a good solid. A good solid eight out of ten i give it a good solid eight out of ten all right y'all next one we're gonna try is let's try the m m the original one with the m m in it m m and peanut butter let's try this one y'all all right i don't think my roommates are allergic to any of these cookies so they, they sh they're gonna enjoy these i know they will all right y'all so this is the original featuring the m m and peanut butter let's try it Mm. That was a lot. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know why I didn't think about this before I just ate this cookie. But, um... I don't particularly like this one because I don't like Reese's Cups. And this reminded me of a Reese's Cup. I don't think that peanut butter and chocolate go together. That's just my personal opinion. And I'm probably one of the few that think that. But I don't personally, I don't like Reese's Cups. I don't like Reese's Pieces. That's like the last candy that I would ever buy out of the store. I would buy a Tootsie Roll before I buy Reese's Pieces or Reese's Cup or Reese's Ice Cream. Anything Reese's, I'm not doing it. Personally, I don't think peanut butter and chocolate should go together. I think they should stay separate. I would eat them separately, but not together. So this cookie tasted just like that. Um, not particularly like a Reese's Cup. The peanut butter and chocolate are very much more rich and not as artificial in this cookie than a normal, you know, store-bought little Reese's Cup. But this one tastes, um, reminded me of that combo. And because it reminded me of that combo, I don't particularly favor it. Um, so this is not a cookie that I would get from here if I were to come back. But... If I had to rate it, the flavors were there. Um, so if I had to rate it, I'll probably give it a solid. I don't know y'all cause I'm biased because I feel like somebody who really liked peanut butter and chocolate together, like who really liked Reese's Cups, um, would really like this cookie. But for me, because I don't favor it too much, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Five out of 10, it's all right. It ain't terrible. Like the flavors are there, the flavors are good. I just don't like those two flavors together. All right, y'all, next up is the, let's try the pink sugar. Let's try that one. I'm gonna try to get the evidence off this fork before I dive into the next cookie. Cause I'm saving the best for last, baby. You better believe that, okay? All right, all right, so I'm gonna try to use the other end cause I literally just like disturbed this other side all right so this one is the pink sugar i'm gonna try this one see what this one's hitting on all right all right y'all pink sugar mm. Mm. oh my god mm -hmm. oh Oh, um, so my roommate's probably not gonna get this cookie. I'm not even gonna lie. 
this pink cookie y'all this cookie is good and again i'm not touching them because i want my roommates to get the other the actual you know the rest of it all of these cookies look like they got a little triangle cut out of it because i'm cutting my piece out but y'all that pink sugar i would definitely come back and get that one pink sugar is very very good i give that one a solid eight out of ten that one was good that one's very very good i like the icing like i love sugar cookies too but that icing caught me off guard like it tastes like a uh, pink slurpee but uh it has like that spice of like a pink soda but it has the sweetness of like a cupcake icing wow that was that was all right i ain't even gonna i might have to get let me mm, hmm. I'm get another i'm probably gonna work out again when i go to the gym later mind your business all right y'all that Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm. Y'all, that is so good. That's an 8 out of 10. That is a solid 8 out of 10. I like that one. All right, so the next one we are going to try is we're going to go ahead and get the Aggie Blue Mint out of the way. I'm going to do this one here. Aggie blue mint. Let me try it out. Get it going. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Okay. That was okay. I don't really like mint cookies or mint anything honestly i don't even like mint gum but that was all right that was all right i would give that one mm, we're gonna give that one like a five out of ten that was okay it wasn't bad i just don't i'm not particularly a fan of mint okay all right y'all so we got two cookies left and I purposely saved these two for last because I'm hoping, I'm holding all, out all hope that they're going to be good. Um, this cookie that I'm about to try is called the Pumpkin Roll. You know, it is October. It is the fall season. So I'm hoping that this cookie is good. Um, and then we have the one that's been making my mouth water since I laid eyes on it. We have that one last. Um, we'll try that one in a minute. But for now, we're going to go with this Pumpkin roll okay all right all right y'all who is warm mm -hmm. oh my god i'm definitely going to the gym later and i'm going to work oh yeah my roommate's not getting this one <laughs> i'm sorry you know how you can just tell that something look good look at that Yo, 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 bussin'. This, yes. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's the one. Crumble cookies. This is what I came in there for. This one. Right there. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Okay. First of all, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. What are you talking about? That is very good. What I love about this cookie is it is so well balanced. The flavors are so well balanced. Like, the cookie itself isn't sweet. It's more so flavorful that makes sense the cookie itself is perfectly flavored and then the icing it gives it all of the sweetness to it y'all i gotta get one more bite I, mm. oh my god like the cookie itself is not sweet it's not too overwhelming because imagine if you were to put this much this type of icing on a sugar cookie they know how to they know how to bake how to bake it now mm-hmm yep Yep, somebody grandma back there. Somebody grandma is back there, okay? 
y'all what I, I love the cinnamon pumpkin you give me some apple cider with this or a good tea or oh my god this is so good y'all like the cookie itself hold on the cookie itself tastes like an average you know just piece of like fluffy pumpkin pie or fluffy like a fluffy piece of cake i love the consistency and then the icing gives it that boom like mm. and it's not too overwhelming it is just right y'all they knew what they were doing mm -hmm. measurements on point that cookie and the pink sugar i'm probably gonna have to fight them over that one i'm not even gonna lie all right y'all last but certainly i hope i pray to god it's not least we have the caramel apple all right y'all i'm gonna be so mad because after trying that one i should have ate that pumpkin spice one last because that one was i don't know what's about to top that but let's go ahead and try get into the details yep my hands are clean y'all get into the details all right i want to try to get everything My hand's about to be so sticky. Let me get it from this, this corner right here. Okay. Oh, now I'm making a mess. All right, y'all. All right. So I'm done. Mmm. Mmm. This cookie about to hurt my feelings too. Mm, 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 mm. My lord. All right. So, I'm done with the cookies. I'm about to close it up. We have the caramel apple. Let's go. Bussin', y'all. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so glad I saved this for last. Thank you, God, because mm, mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Mm. Okay. Let me talk about each thing. Y'all, this tastes like a candy apple with a piece of cake on top with like cake crumbs on top. This is so good. The apples are juicy and fresh. The apple slices, the apple chunks that are on here are juicy and fresh. The caramel is caramelling. The uh, icing is homemade and it tastes so good. And it just tastes like buttermilk icing. Awesome. These little cookie crumbs I think these are just like buttered crumbs or something. And then the cookie itself is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm, y'all. All right, y'all. So, if I had to rate these cookies in order, there's six cookies in this box. Again, I'm not touching them anymore because... I don't want these to go to waste. And I want my roommates to try them. So, these cookies, if I had to rate them in order from greatest to least, number one being the greatest, number six being the least, I would put number one, the caramel apple. Number two, the pumpkin roll. Number three, the uh, pink sugar. Number four, the milk chocolate chip. Number five, the... Uh, which one is this? The Aggie Blue Mint. And then number six, the peanut butter, the peanut butter M&M combination cookie. Now, granted, y'all, those are really good. All of these cookies were good. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, as far as the cookies themselves, the cookies were amazing. They were really, really good. 
but um it was just some of the flavors i'm not a fan of like i'm not a fan of mint i'm not a fan of uh peanut butter and chocolate together um as a duo but all of those cookies were very very good y'all i enjoyed that let me know if there's anything else y'all want me to do a review of y'all want me to try um from a restaurant or anything like that let me make this disclaimer right now before y'all start saying anything even if y'all don't say anything i'm gonna just go ahead and say it i don't like hot food I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there. So these spicy noodle challenges, the hot gummy bear, hot chip, all that staying in the stove. No, well, I'm not doing it. I'm just letting y'all know right now. I can't even eat hot Cheetos on a regular day basis. I can't. So what make y'all think I'm about to put my life on the line for y'all? I love y'all. I do. I don't even know all y'all, but I love you. But I'm not about to put my life on the line for y'all. I'm not about to put my taste buds on the line for y'all. I need to be able to taste. So, with that being said, um, we are going to not put any, you know, spicy hot challenges in here, whatever that case may be. Um, but I will try, you know, different foods and things that y'all want me to try. If you live in the LA area, uh, let me know if there's any, you know, new hot spots opening up or anything like that. And I will go and check those out and give y'all a review. But that is my crumble cookie. But that is my crumble cookie review, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I definitely recommend coming to this place, especially if you're a big cookie person. I'm not a big cookie person, which is why I knew as soon as I was going to do this video that my roommates were getting the rest of them cookies. And whatever they don't get, um, it's going to somebody. Somebody's going to eat this darn cookie. I wish I was home because I know that my nephew would tear it up. But since I'm not, um, somebody going to get that cookie. Whatever cookie they don't choose to eat or try, um, they're probably going to cut it too. Um, I'm probably going to have them cut it too. But at that point, there'll probably be like a corner left. And I could probably, I'm not eating that corner, y'all. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. Um, but, because all these cookies I didn't even like. But um, that is my review, y'all. The next stop that I'm probably about to make is I'm probably going to go to the grocery store, grab my groceries, and then I'm headed home. Um, so I'll see y'all probably when I get back home because I like to really focus and concentrate on what I'm doing when I'm shopping. So um, I like to get in and get out. So I will see y'all when I get back to the crib. Peace. what's good y'all so it is the end of this day i am tired i'm very tired i did let me, let me see i ended up doing getting a lot of stuff done today so i did um took prince to his nail appointment got him a bath it smells great um i did go grocery shopping i worked out i went and helped my client um at the gym took care of her um, I completed this YouTube video. I'm happy that I remember to come back on and finish it out because I didn't bring y'all along with me in the gym or for grocery shopping because I just, yeah, it would have been too much. I wanted to concentrate on what I was doing. But uh, the only thing that I didn't do was my laundry. I didn't get my laundry done. Um, it's dark outside and I'm, I honestly all am tired. Like, I have been up since 7.40 this morning. on, And I'm like, I'm tired, more so tired because today was my day off. And usually I don't get up that early on my day off. But because I really wanted to get Prince's uh, nails trimmed, I had said that was like one of the only appointments available. So, but I'm happy I got it done. Um, that should hold him for a minute until about a week or so, week or two from now. But yeah y'all i hope y'all enjoyed my very first vlog um it was pretty lit it was pretty cool i really either need to get a car with a gps on the dash or i need to get a camera so i can be able to talk to y'all while i'm in the car and not have to use my phone for like more than one thing um but we're gonna get better at these vlogs um i hope i didn't bore y'all um i hope y'all enjoy the cookie review the crumble cookie review um, the cookies are still in there in the kitchen, calling my name Loki. But you know, we got goals. So you know, I have my little corner of the cookie. That's that's all I'ma have. Whatever happens to them ain't got nothing to do with me from this point. But if y'all enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the vibes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend. Um, 
on your social media. Please follow me on all my social media platforms in the description below. And y'all know it's Queen's Dominion, man. Life's a ride, but we're going to ride this thing out together. All right? Y'all be good. Be safe. Love on somebody. Um, and have a blessed night. All right? Peace.